What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how to effectively handle customer service. Customer service may not be the most fun thing, but it can really improve your relationships with customers which can cause them to buy more. I had someone buy from me on seven separate occasions because I was so good with customer service. Let's get into the video. <laughs> So the best way to handle customer service is to avoid having to ever do it. To do this, you need to make sure that you're sending out tracking emails and that you go into Shopify and edit that tracking email so that you say it normally takes two to three weeks for delivery. In addition, it can also help to put a delivery guarantee in there saying something like, if your order doesn't arrive within 50 days or 40 days or whatever your policies are, they can get a refund. That way, a lot of times people won't contact you until that guarantee is valid. Most of the time when people contact you, they just want to make sure they didn't get scammed. As soon as you tell them that their order is on the way and it should arrive within this amount of time, then that's the end of the conversation. You should always send tracking links when possible. Once the order has arrived in the customer's country, you should send tracking links through that country's delivery system. For example, if it's a US based customer, you'd send it through USPS. If it's a Canada based customer, you'd send it through Canada Post. If it's an Australia based customer, you send it through Australia Post. You get the idea. The reason you do this is that their tracking website shows a lot more information than Aftership or whatever you guys are using, and it also has a delivery date most of the time. In addition, it makes customers feel more secure because it's something that they're used to and it doesn't have a bunch of Chinese writing on it. Occasionally, you're gonna have customers that just keep spamming you and kind of just being a little you know what about their order. If I've sent them multiple emails reassuring them that their order is on the way and they're still bugging me, usually I offer to either reship it or refund them depending on my margin. In addition, you're gonna to wanna to set up a shipping page on your website that outlines the boundaries and limitations. You're gonna to wanna to put stuff on it like the customer is responsible for all customs fees, the customer is responsible for providing the correct address and they understand that this cannot be changed, and the customer is responsible for accepting delivery. This may not be a big deal when you're just starting out, but once you process a lot of orders, you're bound to have some that are delivered to the wrong address or refused by the customer or whatever. If people say that they never received their order, but the tracking says that it's delivered, I usually just tell them to contact their local post office. All right, so the last thing is how to make your emails look more professional. If you're doing over 1K a month revenue, then I would highly recommend getting a custom domain name. For example, this email at your site name. I like to start all my emails out with hi customer's first name and then end them with thank you, the website name team. In addition, you can also add a signature which includes your company logo, website, social media, whatever you wanna put. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for sticking to the end. Customer service may not be the most fun thing, but if you've been down to please your customer, then you're usually gonna get rewarded in the long run. With that being said, you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.